Hi, this is a quick test to show double integer functionality for the ILX56MM, which is ProSoft Technologies Message Manager. Okay, to get started, you'll notice that I have two screens that you can see. I have an RSLogix 5000 screen that's communicating to a Control Logix processor on the left, and I have a Step 7 program which is communicating to an S7300 CPU on the right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up four tags. I'm going to set up one tag in the Siemens processor to write to one tag in the Control Logics processor, and I'm going to set up one tag in the Control Logics processor to write to one tag in the Siemens processor. And all these tags, as you can see, they're all double integer. So, how do we do this? Well, let's go into the Message Manager interface. And the first thing you'll need to do is define an interface. Right now, my interface for the Step 7 or the S7 processor is 10.1.2.169. That's the IP address. Now, one way to verify the IP address is to go into the network properties for your S7 configuration. I can go to ob object properties for the network, and there's the IP address for that network. So, back into here. I'll add an interface, and then for the tags, you'll notice that I have two tags defined. I have DB1 address 0, specified as a double integer, and DB address 4, specified as a double integer. On the control logic side, I have one interface, which is my Ethernet IP bridge, which is at 10.1.2.98, and we can verify that by going into RS links. And here we have here 10.1.2.98. That's the processor I'm communicating with. Okay, so back into the configuration. So that's our Ethernet IP interface. And our device, we have a Control Logic CPU in slot 0. And for the tags, now I have two tags in my Control Logic CPU. The two tags are test dent1. That's the value that's going to be coming from the S7 processor. And we have test dent to SIE. That's the value going to the Siemens processor. Now if we look in our control logics program, we'll see these are the two tags that I'm going to be using. So next thing that you do is you create a transfer list. And in this transfer list, I have two transfers defined. I have a transfer where my source is my DB address 0 in my Siemens processor. Again, let's take a look at that. So here's DB address 0 in my Siemens processor and that value is going to my test dent value or dent tag in my control logics processor which is this tag and for the other transfer I have test dent to SIE going to DB address 4 in my Siemens processor so once all that's configured and you place the module in a run mode you should actually get communications. Now let's go ahead and show the communications. Okay, I have a variable window defined here that I will pull up. Okay, as you'll notice, I'll, I will update my modify values. And we'll see that the values get changed. Now on the other side, I'll do the same thing for the value that's going from the control logics processor to the Siemens controller. And you'll see those get updated fairly quickly. That's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ProSoft Technology, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks. Goodbye.